Hi hey everyone, so we're at Gamble's Rest Campground here in Bundan in New South Wales. So if you just go like a, not even a minute down that road there, it takes you to the um, little village of Bundan in. You've got some shops there, bakery, other shops. Yeah, nice little village there. And you just come down here. If you go straight ahead to your left, there's like a picnic area, barbecues, down to your left. Yeah. It's walking distance from the campsite, like a minute walk, just through there. Then you've got the campground here. Gamble's Rest Camping Area. You've got 10 unpowered sites. And you do have toilets and hot showers here. I just went into the toilet to have a um, look before and it was nice and clean, the men's was. Kerry went in the ladies, that was fine. We do have our own toilet on board, which we'll use probably at night. So you come in and you drive your one way round. You book online through New South Wales National Parks. You might want to pause this. So tents, unpowered caravan sites, motorhomes, electric barbecues, drinking water, picnic shelves, disabled toilets. Um, I believe that the actual disabled toilets are in that picnic ground across the road. Um, and just got the normal toilets here. No fires. Um, no liquid fuel. Um, so that's that. And then you've got, your, you've got a camp kitchen here. some tables here just got some information regarding the Morton National Park points of interest on there and just different walks you can do I'll take a photo of those later you've got a PowerPoint here it says on the website that you can use but it's not to plug in at, from a campsite which you would need a fairly long power cable to do that <laughs> Two sinks, We've got another double power point here. You got a little bit more information here about the glowworms and flowers and so forth. I'm not sure if I'm doing the glowworm walk because um, I've been suffering from fatigue really bad the last sort of month or so, and it's just really draining my fatigue level. So I don't know how I go. I want to, but I'm not going to push myself. Um, you got some four barbecues here, you got lights here. Now there's no bins here, so you do have to take your own rubbish with you. Um, like I'm sure there'd be some bins in the main street somewhere, you could probably put your rubbish. Yeah, that's your camp kitchen. And you just drive around to site number one. Now I think they say site one are the preferred ones for caravans. Uh, you are allowed to put camper vans on them and motorhomes. Um, so site one is a decent size. You've got a couple of trees at the back. They're not so much hanging over the campground really. Maybe a little bit. You know, but plenty of room there for a caravan and put your awning out. We're on site two which is classed, I believe, as a caravan, camper van site and motorhome site. Not, yeah, not maybe not, it's about the same size, really. You've got no trees above you. Site number three, which is a bit smaller, ideal for maybe a camper van, maybe a tent. But you do have to drive in here and sort of go around a little bit this way. Um, site four, it's got a little caravan in there. Um, got a couple of people here. Site five, maybe not quite level. Big side, but it sort of drops off a little bit at the back there. Site six, ideal for tents and camper van, small motorhome. Oh, 
seven, it's got a cat on there. Site eight, it's a fairly big site. We've got a couple of trees maybe overhanging a little bit. And site nine. Not a bad site, site I should say, but you do have a um, trees over the top. So if you're worried about the trees over the top, then you'd maybe skip this one. And site 10, which is probably the smallest out of them all. So obviously, maybe a camper van, a tent, swag, all that sort of stuff. You got a couple of branches up the top there overhanging. So yeah, 10 sites. And when you book online, you can pick what site you want. It tells you which ones are available. Um, so, after the thunderstorms and rain we got in Campbelltown yesterday, I believe they copped it out here pretty bad too. You wouldn't know it. Because it looks pretty dry. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to be a high of 22. <laughs> the sun is out, a blue sky. There's not a cloud up there. Um, supposed to get about 20 to 25 kilometer winds, so nothing too bad. And I think tomorrow, I don't think there'll be much sun tomorrow. I think it's going to be a cloudy day and only about 18 tomorrow. So there's your 10 sites all through there. It's all gravel road and the campsites are fine. It's not dirt as such, it's pretty hard baked. So. I think it would take a lot of rain for that to get even remotely sludgy. Not sure how you go with putting pegs in, because it does look a bit hard in places. So make sure you, just on the safe side, you've got a good hammer or your drill, and then your toilets are right here. I might do a separate video for this one. So I've got to get the code. They give you a pin code in your book. So a very short walk to your toilets here.